This is a tutorial video for how to add fractions. We will talk about fractions that have common denominators as well as fractions with unlike denominators. When you look at a fraction addition problem, the first thing you need to look at is the denominator. Remember that the denominator is the bottom number of the fraction and tells how many pieces there are in all. In this example, 3 fourths plus 2 fourths, there is a common denominator. The common denominator in this problem is 4. You do not need to do any more work if there is already a common denominator. All you need to do is move the 4 over. You need to leave the common denominator as a 4 because you never ever ever add the bottom. Say it with me. Never ever ever add the bottom. Once you've got the 4 as your common denominator, all you simply have to do is add the top. You only ever ever add the top. Say it with me. Only ever ever add the top. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So a problem like this, 3 fourths plus 2 fourths equals 5 fourths, is relatively easy to do. Don't make more work for yourself by trying to find a common denominator if the denominators are already the same. When you have unlike denominators, it means the denominators are not the same. In this example, we have a denominator of 5 and a denominator of 2. When you have unlike denominators, it gets a little trickier. You must find the common denominator. To find the common denominator, you must find which number both denominators can be divided into. If you don't know, the easiest way to find a common denominator is to multiply the two numbers together. So in this case, we will multiply 5 times 2 and 2 times 5. Now since we, had, we multiplied the denominator by 2, we must also multiply the numerator by 2. On the right side, because we multiplied the denominator by 5, we must multiply the numerator by 5. Because remember, you can never do something to the bottom without also doing it to the top. Once we multiply 5 times 2, we find that the common denominator is 10. We can go ahead and put 10 as our common denominator all the way across because remember, we never ever ever at the bottom. 5 times 2 is 10, 2 times 5 is 10. And since we never ever ever at the bottom, we can just leave 10 as our denominator for the answer. Next, we multiply the numerators. 2 times 2 is 4. It goes as the numerator of the first fraction. 1 times 5 is 5. It is the numerator of our second fraction. Now that we have a common denominator, we can simply add the numerators. 4 plus 5 equals 9. Our fraction is 9 tenths. Let's take a look at this problem. 2 thirds plus 1 fourth. Do these fractions have common denominators? You're right, they do not. 3 and 4 are not the same, so they are not common denominators. We must find a common denominator before we can add these fractions. Remember, the easiest way to find a common denominator is to multiply the two numbers together. So, so we will multiply 3 times 4 and 4 times 3. Remember, if we do something to the denominator, we must also do it to the numerator. Since we multiplied 3 times 4, we must also multiply 2 times 4. Since we multiplied 4 times 3, we must also multiply 1 times 3. If I multiply 3 times 4, we find that the common denominator will be 12. I can go ahead and put 12 as my denominator because we never ever ever add the bottom. Once I find my common denominator, it will stay the same throughout the problem. 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 3 is 12. So our common denominator will be 12. Now I find the numerators. 2 times 4 equals 8. And 1 times 3 equals 3. 
The last step is just to add 8 plus 3 equals 11. Remember, we only ever, ever, ever add the top. So 8 plus 3 equals 11, and the answer for this problem is 11 twelfths. Let's try one last problem together. First of all, decide if we have a common denominator. No, we do not. 6 and 3 are not a common denominator. They need to be the same number to be a common denominator. Remember, the easiest way to find out a common denominator is to multiply the two numbers together. In this case, however, you might know that 3 can go into 6. So we can use 6 as our common denominator. The way we do this is to figure out 3 times what number equals 6. If you don't know, you can do the division problem. 6 divided by 3 equals what? You would find out that 6 divided by 3 equals 2. So we must multiply 3 times 2 to get 6. We must also mu multiply the numerator times 2 because we never do to the denominator without doing to the numerator. Since 6 is going to be our common denominator, we don't need to do anything to this fraction. We can simply move it down. 6 is our common denominator, so we can go ahead and put 6 as our common denominator all the way across. And remember, we never, ever, ever add the bottom, so we just move 6 over as the denominator in our answer. Then we need to multiply the numerator. 2 times 2 equals 4. Then it's just a matter of adding 2 plus 4 equals 6. We only ever, ever add the top, so now we know that 2 plus 4 equals 6, and the answer to our fraction problem is 6, 6. And as someone in this class can tell you, when you've got the same numerator and the same denominator, it is equal to one whole.